Did I not say no to these cookies? Like, they have to be taken away. I gained 15 pounds. Like, this is a joke. I'm going to throw okay, them in well the toilet. Okay, well, then control yourself, Kim, because I like those. I just want to go to my room, never come out. You know, Kim has been struggling privately behind camera about her relationship and it's tough because Kim is clearly redirecting so much of her frustration and sadness and anger and you know sometimes you just take things out on something that has nothing to do with what you're going through. How are you and Kanye doing? There's no fighting like now it's like all calm right. so I just I just roll with it you know. Kim is dealing with so much right now, and it's tough because before we left, her and Kanye had this big fight. I and think he deserves things. someone that can go support his every move yeah. and go follow him all over the place and move to Wyoming. I can't do that. He should have a wife that supports his every move and travels with him and does everything, and, and I can't. I feel like a failure, that it's like a third marriage. Yeah, I feel like a loser. But I can't even think about that. Like, I want to be happy. Shalom. And with this lesson, we, we're finding out the humor within the Lord, Savior, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah. Like, it started by giving infinite praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Rechah, Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth. No respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully elect. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Barakatham to you, Akim, as well as the sincere Akwath that are listening and learning. This is your brother Yahweh Sop from the Birmingham branch coming to you again with this 100% doctrine. And again, in this lesson, we're finding out the humor within the Lord, Yahweh Shah. All right. And you're going to find out why, all right, we're going this route. This is karma. Karma. In Hinduism, you know, and Buddhism, it says the sum of a person's actions and this and previous states of existence viewed as deciding their fate and future existence. Destiny or fate following as effect from cause. When also there's a cause, there's also what? An effect. And what you have in today is a lot of... Um, privileged Edomite women which we perceive them to be okay uh, becoming single mothers are just all of a sudden becoming baby mamas as in we had that stigma put on us uh, starting in the you know uh, 60s 70s 80s before that you know but that was due to us you know pretty much going off the war uh, getting lynched and getting hung but it was a process where the devil, by his laws and legislations and policies, he, he, he put forth the woman above the man and, and, and took that head out the household, you see. Now, again, these women are becoming, what, baby mamas. And no matter how much money, how many riches, how many followers or influences you have, if you don't have the protection in the hedge of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, you will be miserable. You see, we're going to start in Deuteronomy 30 <clears throat> and verse 7. Again, the humor of the Lord is taking place. And the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. You see that? Hey, for those that have an ear, let them hear. Okay, let's go to a curse. Deuteronomy 28 and 30 tells us what? Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Simple said and put, adultery. Right? You know, you having these women having multiple kids by multiple men. And again, this is speaking on the heathen nations. It says, thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and shall not gather the grapes thereof. Yeah, you're going to work and toil and labor, and you're not going to get uh, uh, what's properly due to you. All right? You're not going to get due diligence uh, with injustice. You see? Let's go to Job. Let's 
continue on this, these precepts, right? This is Job 31 and 3. And it reads, is not destruction to the wicked and a strange punishment to the workers of iniquity? And this is a strange thing. All right. Well, these privileged Edomite women are becoming, again, baby mamas. Why? Because they are the wicked. They are the workers of iniquity. In this case, it's highly, uh, uh, they're highly indulged in sorcery and witchcraft. You see? You can name it from the top to the bottom, to the mama, to the youngest. All right, they're all baby mamas. And this is just focused on what has been portrayed and pushed, all right, on the inhabitants of this land. Everybody want to keep up with the Joneses. Hint, hint. Let's jump to nine. It reads, Job 31 and 9, If mine heart have been deceived by a woman, or if I have laid wait at my neighbor's door, meaning you're going to ambush them, meaning you're going to set them up, meaning you're going to take a track, as in the hip-hop industry. You know, these, these people, they, you know, they, they can get uh, inspiration from other up-and-coming artists and don't even give them credit. This is what's that going into, man, you know? Uh, one of many of what is that going into, all right? And, of course, many of our men, you know, including myself, have, have been deceived by a woman, right? Guess what it tells us? It says, then let my wife grind <laughs> unto another. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. See, see, women just want to be happy. This is what it is. They don't, they don't care, you know, the consequences or, all right, the repercussions behind it. They just want to be happy. Let's go to that word grind. Strong's 829.12. Tahan. Grind, crush. You know, you're crushing on another man's wife. Hey, that's an adultery. Squash, cease, compress, or squeeze forcefully. For, forcefully. So as to break, damage, or distort in shape. Ooh, when you get up in the. Man, come on, man. You know? If that land be polluted, as the scriptures say. <laughs> Should you return to that land? You know, as, as the scriptures say. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and uh, try to find that real quick. Also, like you. <clears throat> That's why I'm at Joe. Land uh, greatly polluted. Oh, here you go, Jeremiah 3 and 1. There it is. Let's read this, Jeremiah 3 and 1. Then say, if a man put away his wife, and she go from him, and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? These are questions. Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Yes, defiled, stretched out. We just read, crush. We just got the definition in, in, in Job 31 and, and, and 10. It says, but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, say of the Lord. How about you, man? Shout out the Lord is going to accept us, all right? As a woman will not, or, or, or as a woman can't forget her suckling child, but the Lord will not forget. So those of, he, uh, those of us whom he uh, have bid it to come back to him, all right, we will return in that proper order. And let's go back to Job. Since you you know we got an understanding now, let's go back to it and read it again. I says it says then Job thirty one and ten. Then let thy let my wife grind unto another, and let others bow down up on her, <laughs> crushing all day long, man. That's that's see these scriptures are, are you know it is it, rated X, man. You understand? You have to have the ear to hear. You have to have the eye to see. All right, let's continue on. Verse 11, for this is a heinous crime. Yeah, it is an iniquity to be punished by the judges. So they're getting their due diligence. They're getting their, uh, uh, as what we would call in the modern day, the modern sense of things, karma. You know? Let's go to another. And it's, it's, it's hilarious to me. 
to see the curses turn as the Lord, you know, uh, 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 uttered it. All right. It shall not return to him void, you know. And these are the curses. You start at 15, you know, on down to uh, 68. Uh, these are the curses that was put up on Israel. However, these curses are slowly turning. This is 60, Deuteronomy 28 and 60. It says, moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases, got diseases or diseases of Egypt. All right, land of bondage, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. See, these are the curses that are turning unto the, uh, <laughs> the lowly populated uh, so-called Caucasian race. Because they're not the majority, you know? No matter how many children they have, all right, it, it, it depends on who your father is. And these incubator having, you know, children, you know, these are not even made in a proper order of things. So, so that's even going off. You have another woman carry your eggs. You have uh, uh, some simulated doctor, uh, you know, inject. You know, the man see into that woman that's carrying that egg. That's off. And that, that'll even take a long time to fucking explain. You know? Let's get up on all these diseases. Strong 4064. Madvi. Madvi. Sickness. Disease. Disease. Look up disease. What they give us? Illness. Uh-oh. That ain't what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. A disorder of structure. Or function in a human, animal, or plant, especially one that produces specific signs or symptoms, or that affects a specific location and is not simply a direct result of a physical injury. No, you know the heart is broken around here, man. You know, the heart is broken. You know these women uh, that have been playing the harlot, okay. For many of their uh, their little little lives that was on earth, you know, from 15 to 20, it, it, given that, you know, the body count is outrageous. As you heard uh, the KK say, I'm on my third marriage. I feel like a fucking failure. And she is. She is. She's a fucking failure. All right? No matter the beauty, no matter the, the, the riches, no matter the money, you're still miserable. James 3 and 16 tells us what? For where envy in and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. You see that? See, this is that place. This is that place that is called, uh, uh, <laughs> in the biblical text, Babel, America bitter. Okay? This is a, this is a place of confusion, the, the great melting pot. You see? This is where we're at. So, you know, again, take it as in the Lord is being <laughs> humorous for those that has the eyes to see. You see? It, it, hey, it cracks me up, man, to see, the, to see this taking place. All right? And, and you know, you know why we're in the last days and people don't believe why we're in the last days? Because... Uh, this is the time that everything is being manifest. Every every uh, uh, age and, and, and time, people look at it like it's not my time. Well, just because you know you're living in that time, that doesn't mean that this is not the time. When you're gauging and when you're measuring everything by prophecy and by what's taking place on the earth, you you could well understand that this is uh, the time of the end. You know. The end of what? The end of this age. The end of this rulership. The end of Esau. And this is the way vast beginning of Jacob. All right? Let's go to this. Sirach 25. I'll probably close out in a sec, Lord willing. All right? This is uh, Sirach 25 and 23. It says, A wicked woman abateth the courage. Let's read that again. A wicked woman abateth the courage, maketh a heaven and heavy countenance and a wounded heart. That's tough, man. That's tough. We're going to get some more information on that. All right? We're going to go to the blue letter. 
Let's put it in a bait. Not the blue letter, Salaki, the uh, etymology online. Now check it out. Put to an end, to grow less, diminish in power or influence. You see that? And we thought Kanye was just crazy. But no, a wicked woman abated the courage. She put that shit to an end. She's not going to trail and follow him to uh, the places that he wants to go to. And this is the article I got it from, man. S-O-H-H. All right. Uh, it says reveals. I'm just going to go through it. A crushing moment. Uh, KK broke down and shared the real reason she decided to divorce uh, Ye. And, uh, you know, sources are out there telling all right, us that it's not her doing. It was it was Kanye that put away. All right. Which it was, you know, <laughs> hey, that's 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 a that's crazy too in itself, man. You know, well, uh, depending on what she was doing, all right, if she was committing adultery, yeah, that's 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 lawful. But other than that, you know, uh, we shouldn't do so. So let's read this. It says, uh, and last night, uh, Kim Ye's unhappy ending. Last night's broadcast, Kim. Is seen crying on a family trip with her sisters. All right. The footage also saw her up, opening up about how she feels about her marriage, which is is and noted right no, no right now. Uh, specifically, not feeling like a good enough partner to ye, or capable of following him as she, he traveled. And what is the the role of a woman? <laughs> you put a. Hey, Everybody knows the role of a woman, man. To help me. Right? Quote. This is what she said. I just think he deserves someone who will support his every move and go and follow him all all over the place and move to Wyoming. She she don't want to let go of that that keeping up with the Kardashians lifestyle. That 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 social media uh, bombshell lifestyle that she gets attention from uh, every time Dick and Harry and Sarah Kane and Jessica. You see? This is what she don't want to let go. It says it says I can't do that. So right there why was this not discussed before the, you know, <laughs> ye? <laughs> Shit. You know? And this is just not her, man. It's just going into the the again We've already been through that. We've already caught the short end of a stick. All right? Now it's their turn. You see? Like, aha, you didn't talk, you didn't bash, you didn't put down so-called black fathers. All right? Uh, what they call us, black baby daddy or deadbeat daddies. You know, they talked all that shit about us. But here it is. You know, you got a multi-million dollar platform. And, 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 and they're not deadbeat dads or deadbeat mamas. Well, yeah, they're the same fucking thing because the curses are falling on them now. It says he should have a wife that supports his every move and travels with him and does everything. And I can't. She's telling you how full of shit she is. Okay? That's that's that takes us it takes us to this. Alright. Boom. I'm gonna come back to twenty. Three. It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. So if you're going at it by the looks of things, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to all be fucked up. And you should have known anyway, man, you know, uh, this harlot of a woman she is and her sisters are, you know, they, again, they all baby mamas. <laughs> they all baby mamas. It says, I feel like a fucking failure. It's my third fucking marriage. Yeah, I feel like a fucking loser. And you are. But I can't even think about that. I want to be happy. What she want to do? She want to continue on the carousel. As the elder Malcolm in Chicago speaks on. All right? And you, and we should know what that is. So that's enough on that. Let's get back to the scripture. It says, verse 23, Sirach 25 and 23. A wicked woman abideth the courage, or abateth the courage, which stifles that. You know, it diminishes that, right? Making a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress 
make his weak hands and feeble knees. And we've seen the breakdown with Kanye a few years ago. <laughs> this is scripture that's coming to play, you know. Let's end this off at 18. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. And this is what Kanye had to come to realization, man. All right? He woke up to the zeal, you know, the church and all that, you know, the, the Sunday service, all that. Uh, uh, but not according to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Nevertheless, he has been uh, imparted with, a, with, a, with just enough wisdom to find out how wicked, all right, this, this woman, this wife of a woman he married is, man. Therefore, you know, the karma. So, back to that. Beat down. <laughs> shit. Beat down, cast down, strike down, fail, destroy, abolish, reduce, low. Damn. Shh, that's a that's a bait. You know, and the scriptures say obey this. So with that, Lord willing, it was edifying and comforting. Uh, on to the next one. Shalom.